Hey guys, T2 out here, back again with another product review. Ask any member of the military what their favorite piece of military gear, military equipment is, and most of them are gonna say the Wooby or the military poncho liner. What is a Wooby for those of y'all that are unfamiliar? It is a blanket of sorts that goes inside of your poncho. It is a very lightweight blanket slash poncho liner that fits around you, that wraps around you, keeps you warm up into a certain point, right? It's not made for dead of winter, but it's a very nice summertime blanket and can get down to about 40 degrees. My Wooby has seen some better days. I've taken it on multiple camping trips and stayed relatively warm. I took it on my solar bug out bag adventure. It's been burned, it's been tore up, it's been cut. So I was in the market for a new blanket of sorts. Something that I could carry on a summertime trip and not have to carry my big old zero degree sleeping bag when it's 95 degrees outside. Something that I could use maybe up into fall weather and even as a booster during the winter time. Right, maybe I don't wanna carry my zero degree bag, but I can carry a, a 40 degree bag and some sort of blanket and still have less weight than my zero degree bag. That is when I ran across the Get Out Gear Down Puffy Blanket. Now, I did watch the review from As The Crow Flies Hiking, and he said that he loved it. It's an excellent blanket. So I said, well, you know, let, let me give it a shot. This is pretty impressive. This is about the size of a, you know, adult sized football. It's not very big. It even compresses a little bit smaller and it weighs about a pound. So this has a DWR, durable water repellent coating on both this and the blanket that's inside of it. So it can get a little damp. I wouldn't re recommend submerging it, but you know, hey, if it gets a little weather, you're good to go. Let's open it up and see what we got. Unfold the little top. And inside, you find a puffy blanket. Now this is the down version. They do make a synthetic version as well. The down version is just a little bit lighter weight, but they are both 77 by 55 inches long. Let this puff up and it will give you a nice blanket to add to any of your kits. Again, it's super packable, so it can go in a get home bag, in a bug out bag, in a car kit. So let's show off the party trick of this blanket. This thing has some buttons, right? Little buttons, pop them together. Pop a couple of them together. And now you have a hooded poncho. You can pull it down around your neck and now sit like this, again, at a sporting event, at a game, at a bonfire, and you could stay nice and warm while still maintaining accessibility. Your back stays warm, your front stays warm, and you're not having to fight between, do I want the blanket in the front, do I want the blanket in the back? Simply unpop it. And now you have a blanket again. This blanket is enough for you to lay on your side and wrap around you. I wouldn't recommend trying to wrap my whole body, but it's enough where I can definitely wrap my core up and I can keep this part nice and warm. I can tuck my arms in it if I wanted to, but it's not going to wrap completely around me. I'm a bigger guy, so I have to decide core or shoulders, just like most sleeping bags that I get in. It's one or the other, it's never both. This is the down version, so it will fluff up a little bit more than what you see. Give it a couple minutes, you know, lay this out before you get in bed, and it's going to puff up. I spent a night outside just to test this thing out. It got about 50 degrees, and I was comfortable enough. I was just laying in my hammock, and again, I was comfortable enough. I wouldn't say I was warm, but I was comfortable enough. Now at 60 degrees, it'd be perfect. This get out gear, down puffy blanket would be in a great addition to any wintertime bag. Again, you want to think about weight while staying warm. And this right here will help that. One pound and one ounce for a, I'll say, a 50 degree blanket. 
a lot of you guys are trying this ultralight bug out bag, ultralight get home bag, right? I added nothing but like mylar sleeping bags and mylar blankets into it. Yes, those can work, but you need something more durable as well. If I had this and then I had a mylar blanket on top of it, or I had this inside of a mylar sleeping bag, it would work. It would be a nice lightweight shelter. If I had this on the last get home bag challenge where we failed because it was cold and you know animals, this would have been a fantastic addition to add to my emergency sleeping bag because now I would have the sleeping bag on top, the sleeping bag on bottom, me in it with this wrapped around me, giving me an extra uh, 10 to 15 degrees, I would have probably stayed nice and warm and toasty with this one item added. One thing I like on this more than I do my Wooby is the chambers. Each section is squared off and sewn off. A lot of sleeping bags and a lot of Wooby's will have rows. The problem with that is all of this fabric that's in here, all of this cushion and padding, all falls to one side, especially after I wash it. So now I've got to sit there for 20 minutes trying to move all the fabric to at least spread it out a little bit. With this, it's in chambers. And so you don't have to worry about the down going from here to here or from here to here and having half of your blanket having all the fabric and half of your blanket having absolutely nothing. So I do like the chamber. Being able to make a little poncho is kind of silly, but I understand the reason why. I actually enjoy it. I can see where this would be a wonderful idea. I go camping during the winter time. It's cold. I don't want to get out of bed. My bed's nice and warm. My bed's nice and toasty and I'm comfortable and I've got to get up and I've got to go pee or I got to get up because it's morning time. I don't want to get up. But being able to, you know, wrap this around me and sit on a bench while I'm drinking my nice little coffee or while I'm trying to get warm by a fire or sporting events, you know, wrap up in this thing, you're good to go. You can even cover your entire head with it if it's that cold. It's a one pound poncho blanket hybrid. I like this. I really do. 1.1 pounds. That is nothing. My water that I carry weighs more than this blanket. My fire kit almost weighs more than this blanket. The sleeping bag liner that I carry during the winter time weighs 0.75 pounds. I don't fit in the sleeping bag liner. I can pull it up about to my waist, and that's about it. They don't make sleeping bag liners for big guys like me. My buddy David definitely would not fit in the sleeping bag liner. But a blanket that we can wrap around us, not together, but that we can wrap around us and stay warm, add an extra 10 to 15 degrees on, that's ingenious. Let's talk about cons. I love the idea of this blanket. I love that it's lightweight. I love that it's water resistant. It reminds me a lot of my Wooby. And I fit in it. I can even wrap it around me to a certain extent. So what don't I like about it? Maybe just the price? $64 for a blanket. You hardcore backpackers, you hardcore campers, y'all don't mind spending money on good quality items like this. But a lot of people in the prepping world are on a budget and $64 for you know, your food preps goes a lot further. But I completely understand. When you get out and you actually physically test your gear, you realize that that five pound sleeping bag, it's overkill, it's heavy, you don't wanna carry it. So you swap down to the 99 cent Mylar blanket. You realize that thing doesn't work. So now you need to find some area in between. And especially for summertime leading into fall temperatures, this thing would be awesome. This thing would be absolutely fantastic to add to your kits. $64 for the down one, I think it's like 55 for the synthetic. And they both weigh under the pound to pound and a half mark. Like I said, the synthetic one is just a little bit heavier, but the same dimensions, and it can do the little lockable poncho thing as well. So the Get Out Gear Down Puffy Blanket. Do I recommend it? Absolutely for summer and fall. For winter time, if this is your only option, good luck. 
especially if it gets in very cold temperatures like some places of the world, I would recommend carrying something with it, but it is a nice summer to fall blanket that you can add to your kits. It not take up a lot of room and it not add a lot of weight. Again, super compact, super packable. It only weighs a pound. Look at this. It weighs nothing. Will it go in my bug out bag? Possibly. Like I said, I'm trying to get rid of my sleeping bag liner because I don't fit. This I fit in and I can wrap it around me. And I can make that little poncho looking thing for morning time use. So yeah, it's, it's a nice piece of gear. It's worth the $65 in my opinion. It's lightweight. It's something that can be in your vehicle kit, your bug out bag, or even your get home bag. In a get home situation, you could wrap this around you in that poncho configuration and sit beside a tree and say nice and toasty for most part of the night. Again, winter time would be a little bit harder, but again, throw in some sort of mylar blanket or trash bag and you're, it's gonna work. You got family members who aren't preppers, but you know you want them to have something that they'll stay warm in if they ever get stuck on the interstate during the winter time or they ever wreck, hey, get them a little blanket like this, throw them in the back of your car. It doesn't take up any space at all. And they can stay nice and warm if they're ever waiting on AAA or whatever the case is. But again, get out gear, mini pros, not that many cons. I love it. It's gonna be part of my kit. Just not sure which kit I'm gonna put in. All right guys, go check them out. Link's gonna be in the description below. That's all I got for you guys today. T2L.